Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Steel Donut. My name is Matt, and with me today I have the whole crew. I have Bob. This is my final intro line. Connor. Hello there. Blake. Hey everyone. Aniela. Good day. And we are back with Chip Thrinkth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buddy. And Hell more yeah. back. We are back with a story. I wasn't there for the first two parts. Or first part. First part. Say. Yeah. We are back with uh, Awake and Alive by Zootopian Fulf. Chipmunks for Life 101. Yeah, yeah oh Chipmunks for Life 101. We're going to be covering what chapters four and five? Four, yeah. five, six in this Four, video. five, six. Gotcha. Four, five, six. Dude, yep. why did he, he? He can change his name to anything. He will always be Chipmunks for Life 101 to me. Yeah. Come on. It's Chipmunks for Life. <laughs> that's that's, okay? the, that's for a life. past. Yeah. That's a past. It's for really. life. He will not escape. Is that a yeah. past life? Who is down <laughs> for life? Um, so, yeah, as a quick summary of what happened last time in the first three chapters, Alvin came home from being in the Navy SEALs for seven years to Brittany and his four beautiful children in their beautiful suburb, whatever suburban house uh that very night a zombie apocalypse breaks out and like dave gets infected and alvin has to shoot him dead yeah uh and then they buried the body in the basement so yeah. now at the start of chapter four uh the creatures have broken in Brittany and the kids are hiding and alvin is blowing them away with his guns it's very so, big very heavy very gun. that big sets gun. us up for Oh, man. Chapter four, here comes the boom. Oh, is that a boomstick? No. Here come the monks from the south. <laughs> you like me now. Yeah. Also, now that Matt has pointed out, it is really funny that your name is Chipmunks for life, and then you change it. Yeah. 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 I thought they were for life. I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. I so, mean, yeah, the uh, Zootopia was too strong, my dude. Blake, why don't you do the author's note? Uh, hello, people. Sorry to much sugar. Catchphrase... Yeah. Anywho, oh. I've missed that, man. I've yeah, missed that. that's why I wanted you to do it, because I knew you liked the catchphrase. <laughs> oh, catchphrase. I love that spelling of phrase. I love it. It's like it's phrase. Very good. It's like a it's frappe. Very good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, here's chapter four. You all will love this one, because there is going to be a very, very big and powerful gun in this chapter. Well, enjoy. <laughs> well, what about the last Thank one? You. No, well, even more big, even more powerful one. for this two, he had a 250 two, round drum magazine. For what? this two foot eleven inch tall. A A twelve chipmunk. A yeah. twelve. He had a machine gun. He had a Barrett fifty cal. Well, we'll see what he gets here. So let's. Uh, keep he's going. gonna drop a fucking tactical nuke. <laughs> he's gonna get twenty five kills. Nah, that's that's the end of the chat. That's the end of the story. <laughs> that's like yeah. the the ultimate final bit is he gets the nuke. All right, so. Boom! 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 Alvin fired his gun at every one of the things that came at him. Wow. Holy wow. shit. Those things. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Is it taking you back yet? Oh my god. Uh, oh, it's uh, I'm again. home. I'm, I'm home. home now. <laughs> the yeah. channel is ending, but this is so nostalgic. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. How this many makes of these things are there? This makes me want to sit on the <laughs> He said yeah. to himself, after what seemed like hours, the last of those things fell from getting its head blown off. Oh, yeah, okay. Do it. Space, huh. okay, I think it's safe to come out now, but brace yourselves. I will brace my own self every day. Okay. Yeah. Alvin said and then saw the door of the closet open and his family walk out. As soon as his wife and kids walked out of the closet, Brittany gasped and covered her kids' eyes so that they wouldn't all see all the car neg. All, all the, the car neg. Fuck. All also the negging going on. Yeah, I was gonna all say cars. The all the negging cars. about cars. Oh god, can't even properly like like yeah. refi like you know. yeah. whatever. Yeah, I don't that's know. That's the worst. Cars. Yellow's never I've actually seen. seen a car, so he can't imagine. I mean, cars. Car. I mean, I live in the country of bicycles, dude. Yeah. You know, well, not only quite, that, but also Sorting Hat told me that in Europe you guys live in like cardboard boxes or some shit. Yeah, yeah. We, listen, listen. All you need in life is a cardboard box and a bicycle. And Wi-Fi. Oh my god. Brittany said as she walked with their kids to the door of the bedroom, stepping over all the bodies. Damn. Alvin, what is going on? She was cut off by a hand grabbing her ankle. Ah! <laughs> That's the body on the ground. Brittany oh. screamed, then she tried to get away from the thing that had a hold of her ankle. Brittany, don't move. Alvin yelled and took aim at its head. Boom! What the Damn, fuck kind of he, gun he, goes he, he, boom? He, well, no, no, you see, he charged that shot. Oh, I see. That's why it's a louder boom. 
Yeah, but notice that it's also a longer. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no. It, 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 I mean, the, you know, it's a louder explosion, so so the noise like lasts longer. I'm so That's tired of works. these charged shot A <laughs> yeah. twelve shot. Charged these things shot. are so fucking overpowered. They're ruining the meta of real life. <laughs> You know, I just wanted to sign on and have a relaxing death match and I have to deal with a bunch of fucking hacks. I'm tired yeah, oh of all God. these fucking hacks. Alvin's the guy rolling into Vanguard matches with dual wheeled dragon fire shotguns oh, or whatever. Fucking and just, God, yeah. You know. Fucking garbage, man. Fucking yeah. Alvin. Yeah. It dropped dead. It was already on the floor. And without a head. Ah, I see. Uh, B- Brittany ran over to Alvin and grabbed him around his waist. <laughs> Brittany started to cry behind, and then fell to the floor and then looked at her kids. Are you all all right? Any of you hurt? Alvin asked their kids, looking them over to make sure that they were not hurt. I'll be James. Yeah, we're fine, Daddy. <laughs> said James and went over to his mom. Mommy, are you okay? James asked before putting his paw on hers. Okay. Brittany looked at her son and nodded her head and then pulled him into a hug. Wow. This is, I'm just like really touched. This is like the Walking Dead. It's very heartwarming. My heart has been warmed. This is the Walking Dead of Chipmunks right here. I I appreciate that he put in so much work into becoming like a better writer because, again, this is miles away from bullies get bullied with its misspelling every other word. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I mean, this is the Monking Dead. Even though he improved so much, still he kept a few good classics for us, like holy shit. I appreciate that. I mean, that. you know, some some things don't need improvement. They're already... That's true, <laughs> they don't. You can't get rid of the classics. And you can't improve on perfection. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> yeah. James hugged her back, then AJ, Alice, and Brenda joined in on the hug. Mm, everyone's getting in on this hug. Thank you, kids, I needed that. Except for Alvin. <laughs> I would just stand. I mean, he's holding a giant anyway. gun. He doesn't have right. his hands. He's yet. holding a gun that's bigger than he is. <laughs> Alvin and more is more and more in my head, looking like Cable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking that too. Yeah, yeah, with a gigantic gun. If not that, then at least like Sylvester Stallone, you know, from Rambo or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brittany said to them, giving each of them a kiss on their four heads. Oh, on their yeah, on their four and the front forward. Mm-hmm. Alvin knelt down and looked at his wife and pulled her in for another hug Holy and kissed her shit, on her cheek. Please. <laughs> Stop. I mean, yeah, they have so, they have some it's... time now for this. All of the things yeah. are dead. It's okay, Brit. I got you. You're safe now. He told her. She looked up into his hazel eyes and nodded her head at him. Didn't he already say they were safe before and they weren't? Well, well they're now safe they're now. Safer. Now they're really oh. safe. Now they're, now they're safe. actually safe. Gotcha. Are you okay, Alvin? Did they hurt you? She asked him, calming down a little. Nah, they didn't hurt me. I'll be fine. But I am more worried about you and the kids in this, you know, they, they were, this fucking they were, circular conversation. I was going to say, this conversation's going in circles. They, they were safer than you were. They're all awake and alone. Oh! And that's oh, the important part. Oh, to I get it now. Uh, he said and looked at his kids and pulled them into the hug. Alvin pulled away from the hug and looked at his children. Okay, I think we should be heading out now. He said and walked out of the bedroom. After loading the car with all of their belongings and all of his guns and ammo for them, they cool. all got into the car. I'm glad yeah. that he's also taking ammo f- ammo for his guns. Yeah, right. Yeah. It, it was really hard to find space for the kids between his uh, 250 drum mag AA-12, his yeah. machine gun, his Barrette 50 cal, all the other say, uh, like, guns. Does he have another magazine of that, or is he carrying like an entire, I don't know, uh, crate of yeah. <laughs> shotgun well, No, I mean, he's got a, in his car, he's got him and his kids, and then he's got to have the guns and their kids, the bullets. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right, so are we ready to go and see Aunt Jeanette and Uncle Simon? Uh, Alvin said and started the car. I I guess like he killed all the zombies in a five block radius because yeah. there are none yeah. surrounding I mean, the house anymore. There's I mean, listen, there, yeah. this is this is how a day goes. You kill some zombies, you go visit your family. Right. You ever yep. played Project Zomboid? Come on. Yeah. Just like that. Uh, Honestly, this is just a slice of life thing. Yeah. yeah. All four of their kids shouted in unison. Hooray! <laughs> Not Woo-hoo! traumatized at all. <laughs> Alvin pulled Woo-hoo. out of the garage and into the street. Ding, ding, well, to be fair, she covered their eyes so they couldn't see the carnage. Yeah, right. and they also and they also just dumped his their grandpa's body in the in the basement. <laughs> oh yeah, so. well yeah, of course. And 
I hope that Simon and Jeanette's place doesn't have any of those things around it. It was very localized contamination. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a hell of a story if they just left the zombies behind and never saw them again. Yeah. No, man, that'd be great. Those were that was the problem with all The Walking zombies. Dead, right? That, uh, you know, in season one they dealt with the zombies, but then they got out of town and never had to deal with the zombies again. Yeah, and then it became like a boring office drama. I want to see a zombie story where the CDC and, and FEMA just have it under control. Like, for, like <laughs> town is attacked, zombies, oh my god, a lot of people died, and then it's just over. It's like a one-time, that's it. And then and then the rest of it's just like a very boring office drama, you know, yeah. with like... Uh, yeah, it's know, just, just the like aftermath and all the administration. It's all about him trying to climb the, the corporate ranks. And like and trying to promotion. figure out, like, every, we're all as a society sort of so, sort of traumatized by the idea that like, oh my god, zombies are real, but then like... We all move on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the company, we all, of we all get, we all get, <laughs> we all get therapy, and you know, work past it. Yeah, I guess yeah. that was kind of Resident Evil Seven and Eight, but I mean, Chris Redfield isn't your average guy, you know. Yeah, he can go in and just deal, you know. Yeah, he I is. mean, like dead in he Dead Rising, it happens in Willamette, and then like not in other places, but then it does happen in other places. See, personally, I would like it if this just kept going more off the rails. Like, they like get that. over to Simon and Jeanette's place, and Simon is just like leaping from rooftop to rooftop, <laughs> slicing zombies with a sword, just completely oh, I see. bananas. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. B -A -N -A -N -A -S. Said Brittany holding her husband's paw. Line break. Over at Simon and Jeanette's house. Here we are. We're over at Simon and Jeanette's house. Simon was standing at his and Jeanette's bedroom window. Jeanette walked into their bedroom and stood next to her husband. Good. Hey, babe, what are you doing? Said Jeanette, leaning her head on Simon's shoulder. Hey, sweetheart, just looking out the window and at the neighborhood is all. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> just staring out the window, blank I'm just face. staring at our neighbors, thinking how nice it'll be when I burn their house down. I'm listlessly staring out at the people who have all the things I wish I had. <laughs> oh, I, I, I thought Simon was they like a boss. They will cut their grass. I'm going to cut their yeah. whole house in half. He's like Christopher Walken in King of New York. He's looking at his fucking... This is his his suburb. <laughs> his, he, he's yeah. the his boss. Suburb. His I mean, goons are going to bust in and be like, Hey, boss, you got any problems you yeah. can take care of? <laughs> well, I'm yes, goon. actually. The, the oh, thing to I be was, a little goon. The thing I was thinking of was just like, he was just really looking for to their next swingers party. Oh, oh that'd be right. fun. Yeah. <laughs> we can't wait till I get with the Smiths down the street. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I just got a call from... Oh. <laughs> I just got a call from your Alvin and Brittany. They're Ooh. your Alvin and Brittany. Oh, Why is that when it's a problem? They're you. They're my <laughs> yeah. Alvin and Brittany. Yeah. So yeah. Every other time, it's just Alvin and Brittany. Like, what the yeah. fuck is that? <laughs> what do you mean, my... What did they do now? Uh, really? What did they want? Asked Simon, turning to look his wife in her violet eyes. Oh, oh okay. God! Her violet Stop. clad eyes. Violet <laughs> clad. This is awful. Mm. Britt told me that the kids and them are coming over for a while, so I told them to come on down that we would... Love to have them over. Did they really not mention the zombies? They did not da, mention da, da, da. the things. Da, da, da. Never came up. No, I mean, uh, I mean, you, she, do? you don't need a about? reason to he kill stay with dead. family. Nobody uh, needs okay, to know. You know what? Nobody you know will what? miss him. Bob, you don't talk about dead things, okay? You know, it's gone. It's out of your life. He yeah. killed all the zombies. <laughs> What's there to talk about? Right. He killed them all. All the zombies are also dead and gone and out of our lives, except when they come back and try to take our lives. You live in yeah. the moment, dude. That's a problem for the future. Live you don't live in the, the future. Moment. That's you live a problem in the now. for future future chipmunks. You live in the now. Jeanette said, then put her arms around her husband's neck. Then put um. her hands around her husband's neck. Well, since the kids are at Theo and Elle's house for tonight, I was thinking, since it takes them a little over an hour to get to our place, why don't we break in our new king-size bed? Don't! Hot. Fucking hot. I, I, <laughs> thank you, Blake. Don't do I love, this. I love that Jeanette and Simon left their, dumped their kids on Theo and Eleanor, yeah. and then Alvin and Brittany are bringing their kids over, so it's like, oh, where are the kids? Oh, they're somewhere else, like... Theo and Eleanor are going to show up at Alvin's house and not knowing everything that went down. Yeah. yeah. Trying to why dump the kids you, on them. Why? Okay. Uh, you because... have to understand, when you're married, you get no free time. Like, if you have an hour to yourself, like, yeah, you're going you're gonna to fuck like chipmunks. As the right. only person who is married here, uh, yeah, that's true. Married with kids. Married with kids. Yeah, married like I kids. said. It was even really <laughs> dated. Oh, damn. I guess I forgot to tell you guys, we have a, we have a child. 
Yeah, oh, his oh, name, oh, isn't, his, isn't his name Geronimo? Yeah, his name is Geronimo. He's a good boy. Yeah, how, actually, how he's a horrible boy. He's a <laughs> little, dumb little asshole. Or chipmunk children. That you guys <laughs> Please have. tell me more about Geronimo. I'll tell you more about the, what the dumb asshole is later. Okay, but yeah, this is an adult uh, Zootopian <laughs> fault. Chipmunks for life, you know. Thank you. Like, yeah, this mm-hmm. is the HBO version of it. So, right. <laughs> she said, awful. looking at Simon seductively. Well, I don't know. It depends on if you'll let me be on top this time. Oh, Please, oh, I can't said, take this! Leaning her over to their bed and then laying down on the bed for some passionate lovemaking. Stop it! Hell. Fuck I, you! I, That's no, weird! Matt, Matt, just don't feel. Just no. stop hey, having don't. feelings and you can move I'm, past this. I can't. I'm trying, turn, turn but I can't. <laughs> turn I mean, off your humanity they're... and face the sex. Matt, Matt, if it helps you, if it helps you at all, if it helps you at all, remember they're chipmunks. Okay, so their favorite thing in life is nuts. Mm-hmm. Right. Also, they are two feet and eleven inches tall. <laughs> Every single one. You're not making it better. That's what makes it. That's how Simon can handle his ginormous cock. I can't. Yeah. And I also the scene you. is over. Like, and the scene cock, is over. His cock is over. also two feet and eleven inches. I cannot. My cock is much bigger this is, than yours. Yeah, the, right. the line break is a, is a tasteful right. fade to black. Yeah, Line yeah. break and you know, mind reset. So yeah. back with Alvin and Brittany. Alvin was looking at the road, but every now and then he would glance at his wife and then his kids in the back seat. I hate you. Stop and then his this. guns. <laughs> And the shiny chrome. Yeah. Brittany was a sleep, her head oh. on the window. Every now and then she would shift and then fall back to sleep. I can't this believe this is happening to us. What did we do to deserve? Alvin was cut off from his thoughts when one of those things was standing in the road. No. Dude, this, oh, is no, like no that, one of this is a car's only space. This is <laughs> what, what is that uh that one channel on YouTube that Get on the, the fucking skits? sidewalk. Where it's like Zod. Like zombie shows won't call them zombies. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. It's and they go awesome. through like a hundred different things to call it. Yeah. I mean, this yeah, this Zambonis fanfic is my favorite one. This fanfic won't give them any detail at all. Yeah. I know. It's like half the horror of a zombie is knowing that it was human, and yeah. you know what I mean. I mean, yeah. That's like, like if they, that's a big part of the horror. If you just keep calling it those things, like well, that's even not the, scary. the very first time they just say moaning sounds and like. That's it. That's the most description we get. We don't get, like, pale skin, b- like, sagging jaw, bl- whited out eyes, you know. Yeah, like, like anything like that open, would make it Open, festering wounds that don't right, appear yeah, like to affect any of them. These, yeah, you know, like, those kinds of details. None of that. None of that is here. All of it is just, oh, uh, it's Dave. And then you shot him. Like, yeah. <laughs> And then even then in the morning well, when that. they were surrounding the house, it was just like, oh, God. Great, a lot more of those things, honey. We have a problem. Yeah. I ate those food. <laughs> I ate those things. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I killed, killed those things. things. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, he yelled, fuck. waking everyone up in the car. Daddy, Alvin, what was that wrong? language? <laughs> so, what the fuck, Dad? Said Brittany, Dad, looking at her husband, mouth? fear in her ice blue <laughs> eyes. Stop ice. describing their fucking eyes! It's you know, ice, dude. Stop ice it! What is wrong with you? Just hey, zoom. Matt. No, the camera of the story is zooming in on their eyes all I the time. I don't fucking see their yeah, eyes. You, this you is can, weird. You can see their eyes in intricate detail. Would you rather us fade back to the Simon and Jeanette scene, or would you rather no. see their eyes? Yeah. I would rather neither. Is there a well, third option not, here? No, yeah, yeah, we're, the yeah, that third option we did pick, it's ending the steel donut. <laughs> <laughs> Just hang on to something. <laughs> he yelled, uh, "Yeah, this is the final turn in the roller coaster. You think you're gonna puke, but it's 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 about to end. Yeah, it's about to get good." Kids, hang on to each other. That doesn't help. <laughs> that doesn't hang fucking help. Brittany yelled to their kids and then looked at what was in front of them. Alvin, don't. Brittany was cut off when their car suddenly swerved and lost control. Oh no, How? the car what? is out that? of control. It lost it. How? What? Did he swerve? Did he swerve? He, yes. Yeah, the car, saw, no, the car suddenly swerved. Man, you well, gotta watch see, out for those he, self-driving cars, dude. He saw a, a zombie, a thing, in the middle of the road. And he thought, although I have no problem killing them with a gun, killing them with a car would be just well, wrong. He doesn't want to damage Rude. his car. Right. He's got a nice car, bro. He's got, He's got a, a nice really car. nice car. Yeah, yeah. like so, 
the the kids wouldn't like those those things had a horrible car. That's why you know Brittany had to right. shield yeah. them from the car. So instead of slowing down or driving around it on this otherwise Swerve. empty road. I presume this is an empty road. If it's not an empty road, then everyone else is ignoring a zombie on the road. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, empty road that he could have just gone around them, but no, now the car is just behaving on its own. Or <laughs> so it's, like, it's like the copy pasta. you know? If your motorcycle, if the brake stops working, your only choice is to gun it into a right. wall. That's true, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you, give your, you give your helmet to your girlfriend, which, of course, is not a safe thing to do while riding a motorcycle, but... <laughs> Fine. You give your helmet to the girlfriend, and then <sighs> you crash as hard as you can uh -huh. into a wall. You accelerate. I mean, yeah, you listen, you, listen the, the reason you want to gun it into a wall is the sooner you get there, the sooner you stop. That's true. That's true. That is true. Well, okay. Back at Simon and Jeanette's place. I don't want to be uh, here. I don't want to go back there. I don't want to be here right now. Uh, no. It's okay. They skipped past it. Uh, okay. Both Simon and Jeanette lay in their bed, breathing very hard. <laughs> Unless this is part of their pre-sex routine. Yeah. <laughs> they just breathe <laughs> they hard at each other. Hold on, honey, I gotta hyperventilate. <laughs> <laughs> this, old, this old monk don't work like how it used to. <laughs> oh my god. Wow! Ellipsis. That was amazing. No, said no, Simon no, no, in between mark. breaths. Yeah, I'd say... It was. Jeanette said also in between breaths. Oh, Simon looked over at the alarm clock on his bedside table where his glasses are. Okay, I, I want everybody oh. to know that I had a little bit of a Freudian slip in my brain, and I didn't see the L in alarm clock and just oh. saw alarm cock. Yeah. Well, nice. I want everyone to know this, yeah. to be well, aware. Well, I want you to know that when you mentioned Katamari earlier, Blake, I put on the Katamari Damacy soundtrack, and this Hell scene yeah. is way better with that song <laughs> playing. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> well, we still have time for one more round, if you're up for it. There's Simon... a lot of people getting interrupted. This is like Aquaman. Simon was cut off by a loud crash down in their living room. One word, living room. Mm-hmm. What was that? Said Jeanette, sitting up in the bed. I don't know, he said, then got out of the bed and put his pants on and went to their bedroom door. Wait here, I'm going to check it out, K. Simon told his wife. Jeanette nodded and put her shirt and pants back on. Simon walked out of their bedroom and started to walk down the stairs. When he reached the bottom of the stairs, he was met by someone or something. Say! You You're the your narrator. Breath. Say what it is. No, no, ah, this, is, know what it was. Th this is this is a cliffy. It's a cliff. He doesn't know well, what it was. But we won't know next chapter either. Uh, he spoiler, know. He's, uh, dude. He's not an omnipresent narrator. Okay, he doesn't know everything. All right, give cut him. He's some a slack. very unnipresent narrator. He doesn't yeah, know he's anything. An unnipresent yes. narrator. He yeah, he's shit. the he dumbest narrator. <laughs> Dumbest third parts. Okay. He's such a Wh fucking uh, idiot. And then Simon goes, What the fuck? Well, there it is. Chapter four. Hope you all liked it. And I know I said there was going to be a very big gun in this one. Sorry for not adding it in. Are but it you will be in the next chapter, me? I promise. What? Oh, well, I anywho, forgot about the fact that he's... I'm sorry. She right. the no. Right. Hang on. He, Hang on. He promised <laughs> that, didn't he? He did. Hang the fuck Holy on. Holy shit. Did, did he write that author's note before he wrote the chapter? I think he did. The one at the top, did he write it before he even yes. wrote the chapter? And I then think at the end, he did. Like, fuck, I forgot to put the big gun in. I better apologize. That's amazing. Instead of just not mentioning it? Yes. Dude, no backspace challenge. That's how he writes. He's never yeah. backspaced yeah. once in his life. The only, the only reason this story... What are you doing? The only reason this story is written so much better than the other one is he started writing a lot slower since he was like, hey, with, with no backspaces, I've got to really be careful here. I gotta be careful. I can't change my mind once. <laughs> I can't. What the fuck? That man? is honestly kind of amazing, and it's also kind of amazing that we've never seen this happen before, I don't think. I, I feel like we probably, words. well, I don't know. No. Well, there, that was the boom, all right. Yeah. yeah. Boom, boom. Oh. Here comes right, the next boom, chapter. Sir. Now we're on to chapter five. Not afraid. <laughs> no! To take a stand. No! no uh, you're not fun. allowed to do this. Oh, God. You are not allowed. Oh, Don't man. you fucking dare, Story. I'm quickly scrolling through. Okay. Well, it's <laughs> I don't want to cover title. that fucking song again. 
<laughs> What's up, peoples? I'm back with Chapter 5. Now, before I begin, just to let everyone know, this chapter will have out of harsh language and explicit gory details. You will have been warned. Gun? Will it have well, a enough, big gun in it? Well, enough talking. Here you go. Enjoy. Will it have a big gun? You promised we'll, one we'll last see. time. I mean, we'll I, see if he manages to add the big gun this time. I'm just I hoping it again. has details. I don't care about explicit or gory. Just give me details. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Simon and Jeanette. I didn't really... What the fuck? Yelled Simon when he got to the bottom of the stairs. Simon, what is it? Asked Jeanette, standing at the doorway of their bedroom. Jeanette, stay up there! <laughs> Simon yelled back to her. Simon ran over to the spare bedroom and opened th door. Oh, I thought you cut out for a second. No, it's just... <laughs> yeah. Th th okay. <laughs> okay, now to find it. Oh, he's got the big gun. That's how things work. You go looking for things and then, you know, you need to find <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, you yeah, go yeah, looking sure. for them to find them, yeah. Have Damn, you yeah. looked in... Have you looked <laughs> under the bed? Have you looked in the closet? He hasn't looked at all yet. Oh. You gotta find it. He said to himself, looking around the room... Where is it? Damn it! Simon went over to the closet to see if what he was looking for was in there. I just okay. love that the exclamation point on the where is it, damn it, is outside the oh, closet. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where is, is it, damn it? it, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on, where is it? Ha ha! There it is! <laughs> there it is. I, I like, I love that because like, it's he's so afraid of writing like details in the like the in like the description. He only wants to write it in dialogue. So rather than a few sentences saying Simon scrambled through the closet, tossing this and that over his shoulder, like instead of anything like that, we he just does it all through a bunch of dialogue. Simon talking to himself. Man, that's that that's that fucking that's that ERPers way of writing right there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you when, know it. When Too nothing's when nothing's happening. And people are just like talking and embracing. Yeah, you could take that slow. Have a lot of detail. Have a really pointless conversation that drags on too long. When something is happening, when there needs to be, you know, like frantic stuff, when you need to give details, I don't want to do that. No, no, I can't do it, man. I'm sorry. No. Oh, I'm so, taking that day off from writing details. Simon said and pulled out something covered in a blanket. Come on, Stop shut it. the fuck up. You've got so something to combat something. <laughs> yeah. Great. Or someone. Simon sat the blanket-covered object on the bed and unwrapped it. Someday, somehow... I'm gonna make gonna things right, but not right, right is, now. But not right not now. Right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I don't have to hide it from Jeanette anymore. It's a Simon giant picked dildo. up the object and the, exited the, the object. spare bedroom. I swear to God, all I'm imagining is Simon walking around holding a big red error flash. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a broken item Why didn't in Simon install CSS <laughs> source? Yeah, it's blue and purple. <laughs> Missing texture. Why didn't he texture. fucking install CSS? Yeah. Why didn't you do it, Simon? Simon, please. It's not hard. <laughs> it doesn't hard. even cost that much. Devs, please oh. add texture. To do not <laughs> let this release. <laughs> Simon walked up the stairs. Wait, so the spare bedroom was downstairs? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, sure. As you do. I like the idea that he kept a gun in his spare bedroom. From we don't know it's a gun. It's an object. It's an object. It's a big it fucking I'm just error. assuming it's a gun. I don't it's actually know if it is. It's a big purple dildo is. from Saints Row. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a big dildo. Simon walked up the stairs and entered his and Jeanette's bedroom and walked over to the bed. Simon set what he had in his paws <laughs> on the bed and looked around the room, noticing that his wife wasn't there. He moved all the way to the bed, put the object on it, and didn't notice that his wife wasn't there. Oh my god. I mean, it can be very Dude, maze-like. The in zombies! Uh, it's a good thing the zombie's so patient. Yeah, the yeah. zombie's in your home! <laughs> it's a minor concern at best. It can't go upstairs. I mean, it's, an, it's a upstairs. minor nuisance at best. Uh, yeah, right. Jeanette, where are you, sweetheart? Right, it's in their home. Simon yeah. said. He wasn't paying attention. I'm in the bathroom, babe. She's yeah. just getting ready. Yeah. So wait, if it was a zombie, Simon maybe just like went past it and then went past it again. Well, back. he saw. Yeah, he saw something. Or something. And he was like, "What the fuck?" And then like, at the foot of the stairs, yeah, he, he saw something. Then continued to be downstairs to go into <laughs> yeah, the spare wait a bedroom. Minute, yeah, he just ignored it, and like we didn't get a description of what it was. He's holding an object. What? Uh. 
They'd be this author's losing like object permanence. For, is it, for maybe a moment, I thought he saw it outside, and then I went back and looked, and no, it was in their house. Okay, yeah. I have a theory. I have a theory. What happened is this author needs a stronger prescription for their glasses, and so they're imagining the story. They don't realize they need a stronger prescription, and they just think it's normal that everything in the world is just fuzzy. <laughs> everything is, just everything a is vague, vague blob. and just blobs. He can tell it's Simon because he can hear Simon's voice. But like otherwise, it's just like there's a thing, and Simon is scared, and he gets another thing. At the same time, he does apparently know what an AA12 automatic. He, yeah, because he is. he wasn't he didn't always have this oh, uh, okay. this problem. You know, just this would be a lot more. This would be a lot more onset. effective. If it came first, before we knew that there were zombies and guns in the story, now that we know, we know it's a zombie and we know it's a gun. He wrote it as if we don't know what either one is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, the guy's trying to keep it super, super, super vague. I don't know why I said but the guy. But we already know what it's going to be because we've seen it before. Uh, like, this should have come first. Jeanette answered back to him. Simon walked over to the bathroom door and knocked. Come on inside. She Sorry. said. Simon opened the door and noticed that she was sitting on the edge of the bathtub. Why are you in here, honey? He asked her, worried. Oh, just wondering why Alvin and Brittany and the kids haven't showed up yet. It, that's all. That's not why. <laughs> that's not a reason for you to go to the bathroom. That's what the bathroom's for. Are you concerned about the zombie or not? I know. When I really need to do my thinking, I go and sit on the edge of my bathtub. They're yeah. not concerned Prime at all. Thinking space. I mean, nope. you guys have heard of like toilet thoughts, right? Like where you're sitting oh, there yeah. on the toilet and you suddenly have an epiphany. Also, sh also shower thoughts, yes. Shower thoughts, yeah. So she's trying to have a bathtub thought. Wow, yeah. She told him, then stood up and started to walk into their bedroom. Jeanette, hold on. Before you walk in there, I need to tell you something. All right, the object is on the bed. Oh. But with Alvin and Brittany... And then the line break. Oh, That's so where weird. are we now? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it could be, so it could be another joke about Dr. Dre's corpse. <laughs> yeah. We wrong warped somewhere else in the world on accident. Yeah. yeah. God so, damn it. Uh, oh, I, I definitely thought they crashed, but Alvin was trying to regain control of the car after almost hitting one of the things that walked right in front of the car. Who after cares? what seemed like forever, he finally... <laughs> Oh, uh, finally, very finally, finally, he did, he did a great well. job. Oh, yeah, very, very, finally. Uh, very precise. Yeah. Finally regained control and kept driving towards Simon and Jeanette's house. Well, so what a nothing happened. Yep. That was a non-issue. It, it was just, it was just a bit of a scare, really. That was maybe. All. I, yeah. I love when stories keep doing this when maybe, they're like they're maybe, trying to be dramatic yeah. cliffhangers, and then the very next one is they immediately recover from whatever the dramatic cliffhanger was, and well, it's nothing. What if they're trying to do something like really like artsy, like maybe them almost hitting the the zomb the thing on the road is. Uh, them trying to like metaphorically depict the sex between Simon and Jeanette <laughs> no, that they were cutting away were from, doing. right? Like they were no. cutting, like it's almost like, you know, they're about to have sex and then you see, uh, you know, someone doing something that's sort of phallic and you're like, oh, I see, okay. It's like hey, a sort hey, of like Bob. a match cut thing, Bob. right? Bob, uh -huh. have, you can, have you considered that that's most likely not the case? I, I mean, I have considered that. I've rejected it. Oh, because I uh, think you're wrong. Hey, hey, Bob, Damn. Have uh -huh. you considered that this guy just loves Goosebumps books and thinks R.L. Stein's writing style is the best? It is. Yeah, best, he doesn't get that R.L. Stein was trying to go for a little bit of comedy here and instead just thinks it's genuinely just thinks scary. Like, oh man, I gotta end every scene with a cliffhanger, even yeah. if like oh, man. nothing bad is gonna happen. <laughs> Reading this sure yeah. gave me goosebumps, so you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Monk bumps, actually. Oh, right. no. um, is everyone all right? Is anyone hurt? Alvin asked. Yeah, we are okay, Daddy. Said AJ talking for his brother and sister is. Sister Red. Just talking, just talking for talking them. Talking for his brothers and sisters what? Yeah, that's yeah. just like Alvin Jr. You know, Alvin usually talks for the other chipmunks. Alvin True. Jr. is, is going to talk AJ for the kids. Is that what AJ stands for? Alvin yeah, yes. that's what we think, yeah. Yeah. It would make sense. See, I, see, it's so dumb. I had thought that it probably would actually have been that. Yeah. No, I mean that's probably what it is. <laughs> yeah. A lot of times when people are a junior, the the person will. What if instead that. of what if, what if instead of Alvin Junior, it was another Jeanette? 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Second Jeanette. We've been thinking there were two boys and two girls the whole time, but yeah. oh. damn, we were wrong. Yeah. Brittany, Brittany, are you okay, honey? He asked her. Stop with the, is everyone okay? You do this every time. Yeah, I'm all right, Alvin. Still just shocked about what just happened. I mean, no. that, that, that is called empathy, you know. I I understand. No, I mean, it's also in my it's also in time. my nature to leave everyone else behind and strike out as a little <laughs> yeah. but I think in this. And that's why we're ending the steel. <laughs> right. Okay. Um she said to him then looked back at their kids. Hey, hey Matt, I hope you like this next line. Okay, but now this is repetitive. Are you guys sure that you are all okay? Oh my god. Fuck off. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm, not I'm not fucking okay. okay. I'm not okay. She I'm asked not afraid. Them again. <laughs> I'm not okay. She asked them again. <laughs> oh. You wear me out. James. Matt, James. Matt, you're our James. Yeah. Yes, mommy. <laughs> Sorry, let me stop. Yes, mommy, first. are okay. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not fully okay. I lost some of my. Language, my processes. grammar, yeah, yeah. Yes, mommy, are okay. That's our S child. <laughs> oh, <Said, laughs> that's our oh boy. My God, he said saying. James, answering for the rest of his siblings. Will all the oh, other kids get a chance up! to answer for the rest of their siblings? Brittany, Brittany. then asked again. <laughs> yeah, Alvin, are you okay? No, no I'm okay. Are you okay? Br Brittany turned back and faced f what? Brittany turned back and faced forward, looking. Out the windshield of the car. I don't oh know what that God. means, but oh, I mean, that's, it's over. supposed to be like faced forward, looking out the windshield of the car. But yeah, the this is makes it forward looking. <laughs> this Instead of a oh comma, no. they used a dash because they don't know anything. I about accidentally it. scrolled too far down. Oh no! Well, back with Simon and Jeanette, and then the line break. We're yeah. warm warping again. <sighs> Oh no. Simon was standing at the foot of his and Jeanette's bed, inspecting the object that he sat on the bed. <laughs> I'm so oh, excited. God. I'm wow. so excited for this object. I'm I wonder what it is. fucking blind. This is the opposite of that Saul crossover where there's no suspense. Here it's nothing it but suspense. It is constant suspense yeah. of what anything is. <laughs> you shouldn't have suspense about the existence of objects. Dude, yeah. I disagree. Bob, I think you what should. What is it, though? What is what could it? What it is? What it. is it? What I is see. it? What is, is it? <laughs> this person learned the exact wrong lesson from the what is the box, what's in the box scene from Seven. Yeah. What's yeah. in the box? Uh, what if the whole movie was what's in the box? Yeah. It's just and they never Pitt find out. Whining about what's inside the box. And well, then, like, halfway the through, box? Morgan Freeman pulls it out, but we never see it because it's off screen. And she's going, What is that? What's in, what is, what that? is that thing? What is what's it? In the box? What is that? Si Simon picked up the object and he did something with it to someone for yeah. some reason. The only specifics <laughs> are Simon, Jeanette, Alvin, Brittany, and the kids' names. I swear to God, this, yeah, it's beyond parody. I kind of can't wait to see how the author continues to dance around giving any details. Incredible. So we'll see. Jeanette walked into their room and saw what Simon was doing. <laughs> I guess she got done sitting on the bathtub. Mm -hmm. So this is what you were going to explain to me, huh? She said to him, Well, yeah, it is, and I am really sorry for keeping this from you. Yeah, Can you please I'm, you're keeping it from me? us now, so yeah, <laughs> I, I will. Not I want to kiss Simon. I'm not going to forgive the author for keeping this. I from will me. not forgive Simon for keeping this from me. I can't imagine this is a gun anymore. This is weird dialogue to say about a gun. <laughs> it's Jeanette, a gun. <laughs> Jeanette looked at him and kissed him on his lips and then smiled. Well, I guess that means that I am forgiven, right? Not necessarily, right. but okay. Hey, well, does that does this mean that if we forgive Simon, we all get to make out with him? Get to? Oh, because yeah. we want to? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, Blake, I know that you are first in line to forgive Simon, and I'll gladly give you that opportunity. I will yeah. move on uh, with well, my I life. I appreciate it. Uh -huh. Yeah. I won't even remember his name, because out of sight, out of mind. He is dead <laughs> to me. I can't have the out of sight, out of mind uh, for the chipmunks. They are on a poster right next to my bed. <laughs> right. Yeah. I keep forgetting you have that. My wife falls asleep with Elvin and the chipmunks watching over her. <laughs> I almost stuck it on the ceiling directly above our bed. 
<laughs> but the ceiling is not a good texture for the pins. Mm, that also, is I didn't want a pin reason. falling out onto me while I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, those are the reasons not to place it there. Yeah. yeah. Well, just put it in a nice heavy frame so that way if it falls, <laughs> yeah. it'll flatten you like no, flat wait, sand. I won't have to <laughs> suffer. It'll just yeah. kill me. Well, if, if, if you remember, flat Stanley was flattened when a bulletin board fell on him in his sleep and slowly flattened him overnight. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stanley. It's like the image of like yeah, sitting under like a stained glass window of Jesus and Mother Mary, you know, watching over you. But instead, it's Alvin and the Chipmunks. Yeah, I want yeah. stained glass I'm Alvin dying. and the Chipmunks. All right, Alvin, Alvin got head for our sins. Yeah, uh, that's what I want as the stained glass image. Yeah. So he asked <laughs> her, looking deep in her violet eyes. Stop. Uh, Open quote. Just nothing. a quote. But nothing. Jeanette nodded her head and then looked back at the bed. So when did you get this unnamed thing? Oh <laughs> my god! Fucking tell me They're what it is! They're looking at it! Tell us what it is! I want to is. see it too! She asked him <laughs> looking at the object on their Stop bed. Stop it! Stop it! <laughs> Simon it laughed cool. nervously then said, Well, I got it about a month ago. I love Jeanette how nodded long and this picked up. Taking? Hold on. Oh, oh. Jeanette nodded and picked up the chain of bullets. Okay. Mm. Looking at the thing on the it's bed. It's still Ugh. a thing. It's still a thing. I mean, we it's know a there's bullet a chain. firer. We <laughs> know it fires bullets. Where do these go then? What? What kind of fucking question? <laughs> Where do what? these bullets go? Up my ass? She asked, looking at him. Here, let me show you. He said, and took the chain of bullets, uh, like how he's doing that yeah. again, yeah. from her and loaded them in the side of the gun. Finally okay. calling it the gun. It's yeah, a gun. some people, like chain of bullets, some people call them, uh, what, bandoliers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, 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 we're not using proper terminology here. Well, it's just even if they were, they would use them like a, like a fucking Mad Lib, where they just kind of throw the words around, clip, rounds... Right, I mean, he did that with the shotgun earlier. Yeah, so, like, I don't trust him to use any of the terms correctly. 32 in the clip. <laughs> no, one in the chamber, 32 in the clip. <laughs> yeah. I guess it would be a belt, like, it's it's. Yeah, belt it's a fed. belt. Yeah. Belt fed, yeah. 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 Oh, what actually, kind of... we'll see. I, yeah, I guess we don't know. Jeanette's, Jeanette's asking, a, asking yeah, yeah. a question that we're yeah. all we'll wondering. See. We'll see. What, what kind of gun is this? Jeanette asked him, looking at the gun on the bed again. And now it's like all the textures pop in. It all oh, yeah. up. finally! Well, it is an upgraded version of the mm -hmm. M439 Bushmaster chain gun. It can mm -hmm. fire 2,000 rounds of ammunition in less than 15 mm -hmm. seconds and can cut a pice of one half, uh, quote, thick titanium plating in half. So I'm just going to be real with you. He's got that wrong. That's oh, not, it's what? not, there's no oh, such thing. This author an, got something wrong? There's no such thing as an M439. He's thinking of the M242 Bushmaster chain gun, which is a chain driven auto cannon. Yeah, it doesn't that you fire. Mount on fucking tanks. It what? doesn't fire chain, like the bullets, it's not called a chain gun because it fires chains of bullets. It's belt fed. It's called a chain <laughs> yeah. gun. Because it's Look powered at the by Wikipedia a chain. article I, I listed. Oh my god! This is what he has on his bed. <laughs> it's like a, it's like also, a, it's like, it's like a motorcycle. It's, it's literally driven sorry, by a motorcycle. How chain. many, how many fucking bullets did he say how, it could fire? Because the two thousand rounds. Because the M two four two can fire two hundred rounds per minute. So this 2, thing is uh, also 15. if you search. If you search M four three nine Bushmaster chain gun, you get this fucking chapter. Yeah, well, that's great. Because I mean, so this thing, fire, fire, this thing fires bah, 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 eight thousand rounds bah, bah, per minute. Bah, bah, bah. I have <laughs> the answer to that one actually. He notes, just pay attention. He notes that it's an upgraded version. <laughs> I, would, I guess <laughs> upgraded firing rates, so that he can I don't fire think the laws of physics allow for. This is the same exact it's, thing. It shoots a 25 millimeter round. This is the exact same thing as when the Far East movement, uh, you know, their famous song from back in the day, like a G6. That's yeah. a jet that doesn't exist. They thought they just shouted out having a jet that doesn't actually exist. It's the same exact thing. It's a gun that doesn't exist. So, okay. Well, so back in, back in 2016, the Guinness World Records rated the M134 minigun as being the fastest fire rate 
gun, and it fires 6,000 rounds per minute. So Simon's <laughs> just casually got something that fires 2,000 more rounds per in a minute, minute that he's going to hand wield. He's going to hold it. Like fucking, hey, hey, like Bob, a, the Terminator. Bob, keep in mind, least, hey, remember, yeah, they're two foot eleven inches. He yeah. can wield this actual <laughs> exactly. tank gun. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. this so gun that they mount that on out. tanks because it's so fucking big. This is the. I mean, this is also the same guy who gave Simon a Cars. Bugatti Veyron yeah. that was like a foot long Beautiful. and had five billion horsepower. Uh, this so. feels Look like at the such size a, of this uh, thing. <laughs> that that warms my heart. This feels like a. This is so nostalgic. My only question is. How did Simon have this thing in the house and have trouble finding it? <laughs> Where did I put that giant gun? Well, you see, he thought he had it mounted on his tank, but then but you it know, turned out it was in his spare bedroom. It wasn't bedroom. there on his tank where it normally is. You know, so that's like under, he's trouble it was I want a sheet for something. Let me let me let me play Devil's I want to play Devil's Avocado here for a second. You know how it is sometimes blanket. you like you know like once a year, you open the closet door on a weekend, and you're like, "Ugh, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, this weekend, I'm just gonna take care of this." And so you put everything away. You put all the shoes, pair them up in the little holder thing, and like you clean up the closet. And like a week later, it's just chaos again. And you're like, "Ugh, everything's all over the floor. The mop is like, it's just a the you fucking know, it's a fucking M242 thing." And, Bushmaster gun and your Bushmaster's just fucking being... laying around There's, underneath I mean, a pile of shoes. That, that, no, no, it's just it's just under Coats a blanket. Coats that fell off the rack. You're like, God damn it, under, forget it. He wrapped it in a blanket. He How wrapped big it is in a blanket. blanket. How yeah. big is that blanket? It's I mean, he's got one of those fucking, he, like, the biggest blanket people. I mean, he needs know? a big blanket. He's like two foot eleven. Yeah. Yeah. You need a really right. big blanket when you're two foot eleven. <laughs> right. He's two foot eleven so he can fire the guns in this story. <laughs> yeah. I cannot fucking believe this. Okay. I was not. I was not ready for this. When I saw that, I was. I was about to fucking puke. Like Matt woke. Like, Matt woke cannot. up today. Matt woke up today and then was dead again for another eight hours. And then yeah. he woke yeah. up again and he was not ready for I'm this about to be after put, not sixteen only hours be, of sleep. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm about to be actually lowered into my grave for good. Yeah. The uh, and I the, called up my mom. They're getting the fucking funeral ready. Yeah. That's actually yeah. what the the final video we said we were gonna explain where we were going, what our projects yeah. were and stuff. Yeah, no, it's spoiler, just gonna be our grave. Spoiler, It'll just be our grave. <laughs> being going straight to into my grave. grave. We're all. It's gonna be a mass funeral thing. You know, like this, <laughs> just all of us, like a mass grave. Oh, I just cannot go on. fucking believe this. Yeah. You cannot do this! Uh, he can't. Well, he did. Well, he did, so. Yeah, so. Jeanette stood there looking at Simon with her mouth wide open. Um, Jeanette, uh, are Louder you okay? with your mouth more open. Yeah. Simon asked her, putting his arms around her waist. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Simon just a little shocked right now. He's gonna use this to kill zombies. Yes. She said, and then she asked the most obvious question. Guys, the why did most you get this obvious question? How did you get a hold, a hold of a prototype weapon like this? Oh, it's a prototype. Yeah. Oh yeah. uh, well, my boss said that I needed something to help protect my family with. True. He gave me a very <laughs> wide what? selection what? of weaponry to choose from. What? I saw this one, and so I now own it. What? Oh, you know, you cannot like, protect your family with a fucking tank minigun. It well, also I mean, explains could. fucking nothing. <laughs> like, what is this situation yeah. that he found himself in? What the fuck? Yeah, Alvin was a Navy SEAL. What does like, Simon do to yeah, get what is his basically the same opportunity of being able to take just whatever prototype gun he wants? Simon is a this. civil engineer. Simon's like, I will do whatever I have to to defend myself. Yeah. 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 If I have to shoot my minigun through a crowd of innocent people to stop one gunman to protect my, my family, God, I will. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking hero. <laughs> 
Simon told her, then they both heard a car pull up to their house. That's the American What about the zombie way. in your fucking house? <laughs> nah. <laughs> it's just that, one little zombie. It's, it's just, just, it's just hanging out there. It's, it's just so, chilling, it's dude. On the couch. He's it's downstairs, just, he's drinking the beer out of your fridge and watching he, fucking he's, television. He's, he's, drink, he's drinking the beer, he's smoking the weed, it's fine. Yeah. He's made himself comfortable. Yeah, yeah like, oh, he's just, just he's you're gonna go zombie. down there he's and just, your fucking pantry's gonna be raided. He's just high as fuck right now, he's just Chilling on the couch, it's fine. <laughs> Holy shit. Um. Oh, that must be Alvin and Brittany with the kids. Said <laughs> Simon. Oh, must be. Oh. Then started to walk out of their bedroom. Simon! Yelled Alvin as he walked into their house alone. Alvin told his wife and kids to wait in the car until he made sure it was clear. Si- Alvin was cut off by one of those things. Those things. Just wandering it, around on the ground yeah. floor. <laughs> it came out of the kitchen. It was raiding their pantry. <laughs> it was! It was raiding the fridge! Ugh, brains. It came out of the or kitchen and had a fucking carton of orange brains, juice in its hand. Pickles. Ugh. Mushrooms. Ugh, ice cream. Yum. Oh, it came out of the kitchen right now. and started to hobble over to Alvin. Ah, oh, fuck, not here, to <laughs> Alvin groaned and held his AA-12 to his shoulder, ready to fire, until... Yeah. Like a fucking cat purring. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Came Ow. a B-rage of oh, gunfire. No! A B-rage! No! Why would I'd you fire range. it in your own you home? Your fucking, to kill gonna, the zombie. It's a tank gun! You're gonna pull your fucking house in half! You're gonna Clear kill your brother! To kill the zombie. He what about that? Like a video game, shooting, All that happens like, when you hit... All, he can the, aim just like very well. Yeah. It's just like an old video game. You shoot a bazooka, it hits the wall, all that happens is maybe there's a black texture mark on it. Yeah, that'll that go away in a little me, bit. Let me and just we'll read one that sentence. Will despawn. A wide range of ammunition has been developed, providing it with the capability to defeat the majority of armored vehicles. <laughs> but not home walls. Not yeah, home that's walls. Yeah. It's for shooting vehicles. Yeah, it's that's, not that's for... Matt, Matt. That is why it will not damage the house. Also, it's made for <laughs> shooting sorry. vehicles. Also, were you, des- were you describing the M242? Because that is not the gun he's using. Oh, this is an M439, yeah. dude. Yeah, the right. M439. For the people at home. Right, right. I cannot stress enough. This is an anti like vehicle <laughs> weapon. No, no. The yeah. M- Here's a special two, property four, of the M439 upgraded Bushmaster. Okay, the bullets know what they're hitting. If they hit flesh, they continue to penetrate. If they hit, like, anything else, they stop. If they hit drywall, Instantly. they will stop. It, it, it's yeah. carefully stop engineered. They it's disperse. carefully engineered that the bullet uh, will fire uh, at full speed for, ten sec- for, like, 10 feet, but the second it gets 10 feet, it just slows down and drops. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. You, yeah. Very useful. As long as you're in the corner shooting, you won't hit your walls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It's all about having, you know, an idea, you know, being able to gouge distance. That's all you need to be miracle able to do. Miracle of engineering. <laughs> Literal yeah, really is. miracle. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, somebody should really to... update this Wikipedia page to <laughs> Right, it's pretty out of date. Yeah. Or maybe it's supposed to be, you know, they the, yeah, the, it's for the archival government, purposes. the army doesn't want, you know, anyone else knowing the power of their new weapons. Yeah, the of only the, people who can know. Chipmunks for Life is actually chipmunks. leaking military secrets to us. Yeah. Damn. In Didn't Minecraft. he claim to be in the military, actually? <laughs> no, I God. Didn't. I hope not. Uh, so, within seconds, the thing was on the ground in several pieces. Yeah, and Holy the rest of his house shit. was in several pieces, too. Yelled Alvin and then looked up the stairs to see his brother Simon holding a huge gun with a chain of bullets hanging from it. That's a chain gun. <laughs> Not how that Great. works, but okay. Hey, Alvin, how you doing? <laughs> well, there you have it, Chapter 5. Hope you all liked it. I told you I was going to add a very big gun in this chapter. You I hope not. I didn't disappoint anybody. But catchphrase, anywho, as always, please read and review. You did not tell me you were gonna. No, have no, no. Okay, gun if we no, if we go back to chapter four, we would look at the end note. Uh, he said that he would add the. You know, he was sorry that he couldn't add the gun in, but he was gonna oh, add it next, go to the chapter. next chapter. Yeah. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. 
I like how his catchphrase. This one did not mention a big gun. It said there was going to be harsh language. So I mean, his catchphrase also... is anywho. Yeah, and that's his catchphrase. His catchphrase is just no, his, the word his catchphrase. Anywho. What a fucking right. phrase, anywho. Yeah. I mean, anywho. To be fair, I like it better than who the hey do you think I am. Yeah, 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 that's true. yeah, yeah. You got Okay, well. And you're right, you're right. <laughs> we're going through one more chapter. In this video. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, oh, and boy. we might get some answers because this is chapter six, the explanation. Mm -hmm. Or the explanation, depending yeah. on yeah. which one you're reading. Depending yeah. on what you ask. <laughs> Hello, peoples. I'm back with chapter six. And in this chapter, you will get all the answers that all of you want and need. Oh. I need them. I need oh. these I answers. Enjoy, I need them directly. That's exactly in what my... you need. I need, I'm these, to do. I need these answers injected directly into my veins. I've been laying in the wake all night, breaking out into sweats. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get mm -hmm. answers for the story. Yeah, yeah. wearing sweats. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm sweating so much. Hey, bro, what's up? Said Simon, looking at his brother Alvin with a smirk on his face. Alvin looked at his brother and shook his head to clear his mind. Damn, my brother to, looks sexy with deaf. that gun. They're both deaf now, I'd like to add. Yeah. Simon, what in the hell is going on? Alvin asked him. Simon looked at Alvin, and then at the front door, and saw Brittany, AJ, James, Alice, and Brenda standing in the doorway. Wow. Uh, Alvin, your family is standing in the doorway. You might want to let them in before they become a zombie snack. Oh, hey. does Simon know everything about zombies now? I mean, now this, that knows. will be explained. He has I'm the sure. answers. It'll be explained. It'll Matt. be exp explanation. Yeah, Simon said to his brother, "Oh crap! Come on in, guys. It's safe now. We got it. Well, Simon got it." <laughs> said Alvin, looking at bitch. his family, then watched as they all walked into trophy. the front room. Where's Jeanette, Simon? Where is my sister? <sighs> when I married her, she took my first name. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany asked Simon with tears in her eyes. <laughs> she is in our bedroom. Go up the stairs and it will be the third door on the right. Is this, like a, is this like a new house? Where Have they never been here yeah. before? How big is this house? There's, it's <laughs> really big. There's so many doors. Simon told Brittany where to go and with in seconds, Brittany was running up the stairs to Simon and Jeanette bedroom to see her sister. <laughs> I love this, like, within Ooh. seconds. Like, oh, when else oh. is she gonna do it? Tomorrow? Within like hours. No, so she takes oh. a few minutes to decompress first. I guess. Yeah. Well, then, I don't know. You know, just any old amount of time. Alvin and Simon sat down in the living room on the couch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always. At least it's consistent. Mm-hmm. So, Simon, do you have any idea what these things are or where they came from? I mean, you already said what they were. Can about. you can you please can you please exposition at me? Yeah. Expound, please. Yeah, I need Lord Dump right now. Alvin asked his brother. Simon looked at his feet and then back up at Alvin. Uh, I don't like this. Looks look as they down came from my shape. feet. <laughs> Alvin, please don't freak out when I tell you this. But those things out there are zombies. Fucking okay. Alvin okay. looked at Simon, his mouth wide open. Really? I thought I was killing people this whole time. Oh. I wasn't? What the fuck? Damn, I was really hoping I was, I was getting off on this, on all people. the humans I was murdering. Are you <laughs> telling me they're not people? Yeah, that kind of takes zombies? the fun away from it. Damn. Uh, Simon. Alvin began. Yes. Alvin. <laughs> Simon said, scooching back away from his brother in fear of what Alvin might do. <laughs> He's gonna beat him. He's yeah, gonna fucking like, what beat is him. You Why? brought the zombie plague down on Guys, us, Simon. Read, you keep did. reading. Keep reading. Where did they come from? Alvin asked in a cool, calm, and collected tone of voice. Hell yeah. Oh uh, damn, he is so chill right now. Simon looked at him and then said... Well, you know the company that I work for? You know Umbrella Corporation? <laughs> I've been asked. Yeah. Alvin nodded his head. Well, I may have helped create them. What? Simon finished and waited for the worst. <gasps> yes, Alvin please. stood up off the couch and glared at his brother. You what? Why would you create something that kills and eats other people? <laughs> you What? You watch SpongeBob one. Can I Alvin just say real? I'm sorry. This is just a, maybe this is just a, a nitpick. I don't know. Uh, what if he, Simon like Alvin did not say they were zombies until now. Simon yeah. had to be the one to say those are zombies. But yeah. like he said zombies, and Alvin knew both what these creatures did, what they look like, but also knew 
what zombies were, like what the definition of a zombie is. Well, so why well, wouldn't he, to make... he start saying that earlier? Because he well, wanted to make sure, sure that they were actual zombies. Yeah, wanted something. to make sure that it was so. Okay, all... you could you could just say to your wife like you could be like, oh, I think they're zombies. They look like no. zombies. They're no. acting like zombies, and no. then you later find Bob. out they're not zombies, and you correct yourself. Bob, no, no, he didn't. No. Know. He, he didn't sure. want to make any assumptions. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you assume, you make an ass out of yum and e. That's true. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> Literally no assumptions. Alvin yelled at the top of his lungs. Simon was scared to death. He hasn't seen his brother this pissed off for a very long time. <laughs> Implying he did When see was the before. last time Simon did anything on the scale of making zombies? <laughs> on the scale of apocalypse. Well, you know, there was that one time he stole his toy fire truck. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, Destroyed his whole doll, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty bad, dude. Alvin, please calm down, Simon Mm. said, trying to calm his brother down, but with no success at doing so. Yeah, because saying please calm down has always worked on people. I will not calm down. Damn it, Simon. Those things almost got my family. They did get your dad. (sighs) Dave is fucking dead. And... No one else seems to care, Bob. Yeah. Okay, I sure no don't. one else seems to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> like, genuinely. <laughs> Alvin yelled, tears coming to his eyes. Simon lowered his head to look at He's the He's not floor. even going to tell him that Dave is dead. Nope. No. Brittany and Jeanette came running down the stairs and into the living room. Did he forget Dave died? Yep. You think? Probably. I mean, yeah, listen, just you don't da- forgot. Yeah, I mean, you dump the corpse in the in the in the basement and you know forget <laughs> about just... it. Up. There's it's a reason Alvin that chapter was called. It's not Alvin and the Chipmunks and Dave. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, there's a reason that that uh, that chapter was called Dave's Reward. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> death, the final reward. Yeah. <laughs> what in the hell is going on down here? Asked Jeanette, looking at both Alvin and Simon. Alvin looked over at Jeanette and Brittany, and then back at Simon. Simon and was now a zombie. Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> Well, to let you both know, Simon here has something he would like to share with the both of you. Maybe he doesn't oh, want to shit. share it. I mean, he... He kind of has to at this point. He should, yeah. yeah. I guess. He did make it's them. It's not personal. every day that you make zombies, you know. Mm, it's it's honestly <laughs> quite an accomplishment. Didn't think it was possible. <laughs> Some reason, this whole we made zombies thing just reminds me of Killing Floor, about how they just made zombies in that game. <laughs> Like, yeah. I, I just love that, that, yeah, we just made, like, it's not even, like, I love that he doesn't even explain it as, you know, something went wrong with some other kind of experiment. No, it's literally just, yeah, no, we made they zombies. Just made, I mean, isn't that what happened in Killing Floor? <laughs> I like, the, the guy in, the evil bad guy in Killing Floor just made <laughs> zombies. Yeah, he was trying to and succeeded at making he zombies. He was trying to and succeeded, I mean, nothing went hey, wrong. hey, <laughs> hey, that's great, you know, fulfilling your ambitions, good on you. Because he's like, he's like, uh, ultra powerful. He's the patriarch or whatever. He mind controls all the zombies. Like, he was mm. just trying to do that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know. Cool. Yeah. Ambition. I would if I could. Simon, what do you have to tell us? Simon's wife asked him. Simon's Simon looked wife. Up at- she lost her name. <laughs> Simon looked up at all three of them and then said, Those things out there, I helped to create them. Brittany instantly ran at Simon and tried to punch him in his face. <laughs> yeah. Alvin grabbed Brittany by no her words. arms and held her at bay. Holding How back. could you do this? You could have killed Alvin and my kids or even killed us. Alvin, my kids, <laughs> or even all of us. <laughs> yeah. Brittany yeah, yelled at Simon and then began to cry extremely hard on Alvin's shoulder. <laughs> She's crying so hard, dude. <laughs> Want to see how hard I can cry? <laughs> <laughs> This scene is going to get fucking bananas. Yeah. Simon started to walk towards the front door. Uh, Simon, babe, where are you going? It's still I'm Simon, not, babe. I am nonplussed by this zombie news. Simon stopped at the door and turned to all three of them. I am going to end it. Oh. Oh. Alvin, okay. Brittany, and He's Jeanette looked himself. at Simon with a confused expression on their faces. Well, I thought he was going to end the zombie apocalypse. I thought he was going to kill himself. What do you mean by going to end it, Could be one, could be the other. Asked Alvin a bit more calm than he was before. (laughs) 
I am going to let those things take me. That doesn't resolve oh, it at all. all. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't help that doesn't anyone. Solve the problem. <laughs> he is actually. How going to about kill instead of that, you help solve the problem, you dumbass? No, I can't do it. Like man. you, can't do it. what have I? Become? Like honestly, just like you, self pitying little bitch. Like <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, yeah. like everyone's mad at me. I'm just gonna kill myself, Simon. That's not what we're saying. We're asking you to not do. Genetic abominations anymore. <laughs> Stop it! This is no, this is this has been one bullying. time too many, Simon. Like also, honestly, what you're doing you right now is create... even is even more annoying than the fact that you created zombies. You're just making this all about like, oh, poor me, poor everyone. You turned into zombies, dude. But you're not genetic, the victim here. Genetic abominations is all I wanted to do in life. Then you're an Considering... asshole. Like here's the thing, like considering <laughs> considering that you were one of the people who helped to make this, surely you have some insight to help on how to stop it. Yeah, instead you're just uh, gonna pussy out and kill head. yourself. Like what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> oh. uh, there, uh, did you see the gif, Yella? Yeah, I see the gif. Yeah, that nose. is exactly that is exactly yeah. what I was picturing. <laughs> Simon <laughs> said, you. with tears in his eyes, looking at all of them and then looking back at the door. Simon, no, don't do that. I'm sorry. Oh, no, Simon, no, don't do that. <laughs> Alvin no. was cut off when Simon turned around and glared at his brother. Alvin, oh, I helped create those things. <laughs> I <laughs> felt terrible for doing it, but I had no choice. My boss told me I had to or he would kill my entire family. <laughs> no, sorry, did, so, just did, so it's clear, you he is crying so hard he's misspelling the words he's <laughs> saying. I was gonna right, say, yeah. did, did Chipmunks for Life, was he crying while typing this? No, no, yes. Simon was crying while saying it aloud because this really happened. Yeah. The boss is playing the game from both ends. He gives him a tank gun to defend his family, yeah. but then says, do Shit. as I say or I'll kill your family. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. This is yeah. just like, this is just like, well, you know what? I'll let, I'll wait till they get to that story, actually. Yeah. Oh my Simon. God. Yeah. <laughs> Simon yelled at Alvin, tears running down Simon's furry face. <laughs> I'm glad that you're reminding us that they're chipmunks. I forgot thought they for were humans. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just thinking of him as a fur furry, fur suit, like a furry god. So, <laughs> Uh, Alvin looked at Simon with regret in his eyes, and his eyes were watery. Yeah, he oh. was crying. He had tears running down his face. Uh, Simon, I had no idea you were forced to do it. I really am. I'm really sorry for yelling at you. <laughs> I so really wait, thought wait, that you sorry. just did it. You, you thought you knew your brother so poorly, or maybe yes. you just thought it was entirely <laughs> in character for Simon yes. to just go yeah. make... Yeah, zombies. For the, you know, yeah. For the he really it. is just the patriarch yes. from Killing Floor. He well, he really didn't realize is. that. It, well, I mean, maybe he thought Simon uh, created them with noble intentions. You know? Yeah, uh, well, I created, I created the up. zombie plague to help mankind, not to destroy not it. Not to destroy it. He thought so Simon willingly helped create the zombies. God, I, 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 I swear to God, them as a I, I swear to God. It, like, imagine if, like, I don't know, like, I came to you guys and I was just like, guys, I did something really horrible. Okay, I. I created zombies, and then you guys just went like typical Bob. Like God, what the Bob, fuck? Every Bob. time, Bob. This is the third time this week. Wait, what the? F <laughs> you just you were like, "Yep, Simon." That sounds like the Simon I know. Bob, hey, I well, told again. you after your last mankind destroying experiment that you can't keep doing this. Okay? I didn't mean Humanity to destroy mankind. Humanity is guy. almost completely Bob, destroyed. All right, Bob. You've done I don't care. Damage. Bob, I don't care that you created the giant death ray to help mankind, not to destroy it. Like, yeah. just stop creating those. Oh, well. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Again, I guess Simon probably would just created zombies because of all the positive aspects of being mm. a zombie. Mm. You get to live longer, kind of. Right. Sort of. Yeah, yeah. In, yeah, in a, in a manner of death. speaking. Simon it's life after death. Alvin yeah. thought that Simon created a, yeah a positive life after death, and it just got a little like, out like of we hand, said, he know. created it to help mankind. Now not the, to destroy the whole it. eating people thing, I that was next know, on the I list. Mixed in the wrong the chemical. Mountain. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, there's there's a few more things to figure out with like the the food supply and mm -hmm. what they prefer, but we'll we'll get that in the next round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, surely, surely, doom melon. Alvin said, and walked over to Simon, and pulled him into a brotherly embrace. 
Simon <laughs> tried to pull away from his brother, but Alvin was stronger than Simon and, mm. the, and held on to him really tightly. He, yeah. Simon he, he could barely breathe. He could barely zombies. breathe. I mean, yeah, I feel like Simon would have to be stronger if he's carrying around the M4 whatever, you know, yeah, Bushmaster. I mean, Alvin could do that too, easily. Alvin could, but Alvin doesn't. No, he doesn't have to. He's he, it's Simon's already holding. This is the it. hug of a Navy SEAL. Yeah, this no, a, it, this, this hug will in fact cause his rib cage to cave in. Yeah. Jeanette walked over to Alvin and Simon and then joined in on the hug. Brittany looked at the three of them and then she walked over and joined the hug as well. What about the kids? Will the kids join the hug? I don't know. They haven't been like mentioned in any of the. The kids movies. are already dead. Oh my god. I thought Simon just sent them off with some crayons or something. You know what you did to make it all sad. <laughs> yeah, I well. mean those are zombie crayons is the problem. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Spe special zombie specific colors. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> These are the colors of brains. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I really needed that, and Thank I am you. truly sorry for everything that has happened. Everything? Everything? What you else happened? your wife and then killed one zombie. Well, he uh, also created the zombie created apartment. the zombies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but he wasn't sad about that until, like, a minute ago. Right. This, like, his whole introduction to the story started with him, you know, looking out the window on a bright, shining day. You know. Yeah, and then he fucked gee, his I wife, and then, and then like, <laughs> Alvin, and, Alvin and Brittany had a hard morning, and then when they came over, Simon was like, oh, one zombie. Oh, well, better go find my gun, and then just, like, casually, like, why didn't you weren't sad at any point during then? No, it took someone else being upset for him to be upset. Oh, so he only got sad when he got well, in no, trouble no. for it. Okay. I mean, honestly, what I honestly think happened is it was only at this point that Zootopian Fulf decided, oh, right, Theodore's smart. He probably, yeah, he was coerced into into creating Simon. the apocalypse. Or Simon, whatever. Yeah. Not, Theodore is only fat. Right, Theodore yeah. is only yeah. fat. And, and stupid like, you, you're here. Right. Anyway, anyway, so my, yeah, so my, you know what the rest of my point yes. is. That's, yeah, okay. that's how that occurred, most likely. Simon said, looking at the others. Uh, does anybody know if Theo and Elle are having the same head I mean, issue that we <laughs> are right now? <laughs> asked Alvin, looking at the others. And oh, then, no, oh, what? she doesn't even say the right thing. Road trip. It should be a road trip. Yelled yeah. Brittany, making the others laugh. <laughs> Not <laughs> the time! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Dave the is zombie dead! Zombies have taken Hooray. over! They, they really laughed like they hadn't Dave. laughed in road years. Trip. in years. Road trip. Road trip. Oh, by the way, Dave is dead. <laughs> and so is a large portion of the population, apparently, and it's all Simon's fault. Yay! <laughs> Simon, you motherfucker. <laughs> well, it's a small enough portion of the population that, like, although there are zombies around, Simon didn't notice them while he was looking out the window at the neighborhood. That's true. Oh, yeah. That's right. true. We only noticed there was one, one when it got into They all went over house. to Alvin's house. Yeah. And Alvin mowed down, like, hundreds of them yeah. just earlier today. <laughs> yeah. They are millions. <laughs> Yeah. A slash N. Well, there it is, chapter six. Hope you all enjoyed it. I know not very much action in this chapter, but not to worry. There will I'm be not. plenty to come later on, but for now, please read and review. Oh, before I forget, the sequel to Theodore and Eleanor's next step will be up in a couple of days, so, yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. We'll never see that. Congratulations, Chipmunks for Life 101. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that sequel to <laughs> got up in a couple of days. God. Oh. Uh... <laughs> yeah. So much got... has already happened. I can't wait to see what happens next. Yeah. Yeah. God. Thanks for watching, and thanks for all the support over the years. Chip 3 is a hell of a way to close things out, so click on the playlist for this event to make sure you catch every video. Everyone, take care of yourselves. You deserve it. <laughs>